Hello everyone, welcome to Africa Ace TV. We project Africa art, African culture, and African entertainment. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you get updated anytime we post new videos. Let's together promote Africa. In this video, I give you tips for planning an African safari. Few things rival the Africa safari when it comes to a traveler's bucket list. Majestic Mother Africa conjures up images of regal lions and tracing elephants and galloping giraffes on the picture square plains. Your heart is full as you take in a sublime sunset after experiencing a day you will never forget. For most, it's a once in a lifetime experience so undoubtedly you want to make it as memorable as possible. Even if you are the fly by the seat of your pants type, this is one trip that you want to plan to make sure your experience is unforgettable carefully. There are many things to think about, so it's a good idea to start mapping out your adventure months in advance. Here are great tips to get you started on your rare and magnificent journey. 1. Where and when to go African safaris can generally be broken down into three seasons. Dry season, June to October. Mist season, November to March. Wet season, March to May. The most critical decision you will need to make when planning your trip is when to go. Africa is so vast and different countries offer unique experiences and climates. The most popular safari destinations fall into these eight categories. Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Uganda, Botswana, Namibia, and South Africa. That's a lot of choices. With each country offering its marvels at different times of the year, you are going to want to do your research to customize the offering that most appeals to you. Do you want to witness the spectacle of thousands of wildebeests and zebras embark on their annual migration while being pursued by ruthless predators? Then, you will want to visit Kenya between July and October. Or perhaps you are more interested in the awesome, inspiring mountain gorillas while spending your night in a rooftop tent. In which case, you will want to head to Uganda while avoiding the wet season, which will make your mountain hike a lot less pleasant. Maybe. White water rafting is more your flavor. If so, you will be best suited to heading to Zimbabwe to ride the Zambezi River and take in some of the best wildlife parks on the planet. There's a lot to consider, so you will want to give yourself ample time to tailor your trip to your liking. Tips for planning an African safari. 2. What to pack Keep in mind that you are likely going to be moving a lot on your safari, from bouncing up and down on a Land Rover to traversing the valleys in a prop plane. You are going to want to be tactical when it comes to packing. You are going to want your wardrobe to be versatile as you will likely be chilly for the sunrise roasting in the afternoon heat and then cooling down again for sunset. The name of the game is layers. When it comes to colors, lean towards earth tones like tan and green. Some of the other essentials include bank spray, sunblock, full brim hat with chin strap, rain gear, hiking boots, sunglasses, toiletries, and camera. 3. 
finding a great safari travel planner. Don't skimp on the research when it comes to finding a great safari planner. Planning the entire trip on your own can be done, but it is a daunting task and will likely cause more headaches than it is worth. Ease your mind by hiring someone who knows the different countries ins and outs and is familiar with the best tour operators. Let them tie together all your transportation and accommodations so all you have to do is focus on the fun. The right planner will know exactly what parks are best at what time of year, which will go a long way in achieving your animal goals. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Let's promote Africa together. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.